The objective of this topic is to weld a single fillet weld T-joint in the overhead position and to pass a visual inspection and brake test. Follow the general procedure steps. Use proper clothing, tools, and eye protection. The materials and power source settings for this exercise are listed in your workbook. Position the plates on the work table to form a T-joint. Offset the vertical plate from the center of the flat plate about one half inch from the edge. Tack weld the joints at the ends to avoid interference with the weld bead. Clamp the workpiece in the overhead position about two to three inches above eye level. Deposit the bead on the short side of the joint with the electrode positioned 45 degrees from the vertical plate and five to 10 degrees in the direction of travel. Keep a smooth, steady arc and use the whip and pause movement, making the leg dimensions of a bead equal. Hold the arc length to one electro diameter in order to ensure good root penetration using just enough current to keep a smooth, strong arc. When the weld is complete, clean off all the slag and cool the workpiece in water. Then make a visual inspection of the weld according to the standards of acceptability outlined in topic nine. The brake test or fillet weld soundness test should be performed with all protective clothing on. One method is to put the workpiece in a press and squeeze it until it has flattened or broken or the piece can be flattened or broken by striking it with a hammer. This should only be done in an area where no one will be exposed to flying pieces. The brake should be through the center or throat of the fillet for the entire length of the weld. The fractured surface of the weld shall show fusion to the root of the joint and shall exhibit no incomplete fusion to the base metal. And there shall be no inclusions or porosity larger than 3 32nd inch in greatest dimension. 